Hello and everybody, welcome back to Basics. I am your host, your crazy uncle. Today, we're going to go over gym etiquette number two. I already touched on gym etiquette on a previous video. If you want to go check it out, be my guest. But we're going to talk about gym bros, gym bunnies. We got pluses and minuses on both sides. Now, every guy is not a gym bro, not every woman is a gym bunny. It doesn't work that way. I want to talk about the bros who are constantly just being all attitude, not just personality. Like they're, they're all about, Hey, everybody in the gym must look at me and everybody must be, must care about me. Fuck off. All right. You do you. Okay. If you're one of those power lifters who's over there yelling, slamming their chest, ah, really going. Okay, fine. But don't be an asshole. You know, re-rack your weights. Don't get in everybody's face. Actually spot people when they ask. Oh, God, that's annoying. Etiquette, my friends, etiquette. Everybody's there to do hard work, but a lot of people don't have a lot of time. And if you want the gym to still be there because people want to stay there and work out, don't be an ass. Now, that's with the bros, okay? Very few gym bros actually happen because man law dictates that you're going to tell the guy, knock it the fuck off. That's not cool. All right. Women, I know most of you will say, I get it. Actually, you don't. Just like we don't get all the shit that you do. We might understand a lot of it, but we don't fully get it. But I will talk about the gym bunnies. Again, not all women are gym bunnies. I'm talking about, now, a lot of people want to change it to gym thoughts, okay? Seriously, women, if you're going to the gym, work out, understand that you're in a gym, do your work, and then go. All right, it's just that simple, okay? People sweat in the gym. Don't sit there and be, it smells in here. You guys should go away. Oh, he's staring at my ass. Well, you're standing in front of him while he's doing his exercise. Women, if you're hogging the fucking mirrors, don't be surprised if you see guys actually get pissed off and ask you to move. And they will ask you, be as polite as possible, but I guarantee they want to curse at you and tell you to get the fuck out of the way. Now, these gym bunnies, a lot of them you can tell by what they're wearing. Their shit is just about see-through. And there's very little of it. Gym bunnies, a lot of them are simply there to get attention. If you're simply there to get attention, we don't want you there. We don't even want to talk to you. Go away. If you're there to work out, excellent. The only looking you're going to get is from real people who go to the gym. And we're going to be watching your form to make sure you don't screw up. I've had women in the gym come and tell me I was doing something wrong that I didn't realize because the angle of the mirror I couldn't see that I was arching my back because I was looking straight at the mirror. I was like, oh shit, really? And I turned and I did. I was like, oh crap, thank you. And I've done it with females too. In particular during shoulder exercises. Because a lot of you don't do them very often and a lot of times the form is lost. Now, I'm, also, I'm starting a side rant. But you're getting my point here. Jim bros, if you're a bro, calm that shit down. Okay, you narcissistic fuckwad, calm it the hell down. And I will say this, Jim Bros, if you're one of the guys who's in the mirror and obviously you've been working for a while and you're doing your poses and whatnot, I'm not going to give you shit on that because I know most people for competition, that's part of it. Most people in the gym know that that's part of it. Just don't sit there and five of you guys hog the whole freaking mirror. It's that simple. With Jim Bunnies... Don't get in the way. Just because a guy said, excuse me, does not validate you, by the way. It just means a nice way of saying, move your fat ass so I can get at the weights you're standing in front of. Both of these, I will say, have one thing in common. They both hog weights. That's constant. Now, if you're not a bro and you're not a bunny, but you are in the gym, and you see an attractive person there. Say you're a guy. You see an attractive woman there. You don't get in front of her in front of, at the treadmill and ask her out on a date. No. People, there is a room at the front of the gym. There's a waiting room there for a reason. 
if you know roughly when they're going to finish their workout, you go clean up and you go talk. You don't want to stink when you talk to them. And yes, I've been approached by women and the first thing you do is this. You're trying not to make it obvious, but the fact that it burns your nose, yeah. No, it doesn't look good on you. So meet them out front. Unless you're already dating or you're part of a workout group, screw the conversation. Go hit on somebody on some other time besides the gym. That is gym etiquette part two. I hope this helped you out and I hope to have fixed a few of you who are either bros or bunnies. Because the only people I want to see in the weight room, in the gym, are men and women. This is your crazy uncle. I'm out.